Hey guys, so today I am finally going to be putting out these guys, the praying mantises. So, they've just been um, dormant in the garage where it's really cool. And if you want to make sure that they don't come out and start hatching, then that's a good way to do it, is to just keep them cool. You can keep them in the refrigerator for a while as well. Um, so I've got these kind of as an experiment um, to see if they help with uh, reining in um, some of the pest insects. They'll serve as a more beneficial insect. Um, when they're young, they will eat things like aphids. And then as they get bigger, they'll eat uh, larger pests. Um, and they'll even eat each other. They are cannibalistic in that way. Uh, when they mate, the females tend to eat the males. So that's a, that's a harsh reality for uh, praying mantises. <laughs> um, and they are kind of fearless as well. They will go after larger, more significant prey. I've watched a video of them catching and eating small birds and snakes and lizards. It's kind of crazy that they succeed. Like they, I saw one attack a cat and I don't, I don't think it killed the cat, but it just did not care. It would, if it, you come at this thing, then it will come at you. Um, <laughs> that is to say, I don't think you have to worry about being attacked by a praying mantis as a human. Um, but so here's what I'm going to do to put these out. So you'll see here, if I can get it to focus, that these, they all have a kind of um, depression on them. And that is where, when the mother laid this egg sac, it was likely on a um, twig or stick. So what we're going to do is reattach it to a skewer here. This is a really easy way to um, put them out, is just reattach it in the way um, nature originally put this guy out and I'm just going to put it right over here um, where it's not going to get sun blasted or hopefully won't get attacked by a bird or anything because that's another um, concern you might have when you put these out. The other thing is I don't think you want to have it rained on um, so I've kind of waited until we've gotten past our really rainy season to put these out when it starts and when it starts to warm up and so I should mention that I got these for 10 bucks a piece and after the fact I figured out that one of the best places to find these is actually eBay you can get them in like large, larger quantity for a much better price because this was, it was 10 bucks per egg sac. And that's not, not quite as good as what you might find on eBay. There are different um, types and you might experiment with um, getting a type that is more suited for your area. Um, for example, there is a Chinese uh, mantid, and I believe it's there's a South Carolina mantid, and the egg sacs look very different. Some of them are elongated. Um, this one, for instance, is kind of like circular or ovalish. Um, so it'll be obvious that they're uh, laid by different species when you see them. And I. I got some of these when I was a kid just to see them in action in the garden and um, 
they didn't get to a large adulthood. At least I didn't see any um, with that uh, egg sac at the time. We saw little babies, but didn't see any adults. Um, and which is interesting because they they tend to hang out where they hatch and kind of are territorial. So when this one hatches, they will spread out a little bit because they'll probably try to eat each other. But um, the more dominant ones will probably colonize this spot in particular. And I am placing them where I think uh, they're going to be needed. For instance, these tomatoes have suffered from um, aphids in the past. Um, so I think they'll be good uh, for going after them. Another thing with these guys is when they hatch, they will be um, seeking out water. So that could mean that the um, the bed or the area that you put them in might need some moisture around it so that they don't, uh, I don't know, come out dehydrated or, and die or something along those lines. So yeah, if I manage to get some to adulthood, I will uh, shoot more video of them and show updates. And if I catch them in action, I'll definitely try to get that on video and show that off as well. Uh, hopefully they uh, play nice with the lizards and the frogs that I have in the yard. Hopefully I don't see them going after the lizards. That would be a dramatic sight. I'm sure, um, but if they are a successful addition to my garden, then I'll definitely be getting more, and um, I have heard that if you have enough of these um, in your garden, then they will uh, lay enough egg sacs to carry on year over year so that could be one way to save money on these is if you just have enough of a brood then they'll be repopulating themselves year over year but uh yeah that's uh that's praying mantises when and if i have updates i will share them